Hello everyone, this is the LEGO Kylo Ren Shuttle Microfighter. It is for ages 6 plus, as you can see it has one minifigure, 72 pieces, and retailed in the U.S. for $10. Um, getting on to the box here, it's, uh, you know, some pretty solid box art, if I can get a better view here. It's pretty solid box art, nothing too special. Uh, you got your little thumb thing on the back, the box a little destroyed, but, you know, it's typical box art. And here is our Supreme Leader Kylo Ren minifigure. This figure is, uh, it's pretty damn good and why many people are buying this set. Uh, the helmet print is, honest to God, outstanding. I mean, you see all that detail and I think it almost, if it can focus here, goes all the way around. Not quite. It is very close. And uh, I love the, the chest, hip, and leg printing and how it flows nice and through a lot of Legos can mess up on that. My figure was not. Um, good back printing, more or less the same as the front. I do have a couple knocks against this, against this figure. Mainly this hilt piece here. It's supposed to be black, which is a little bothersome. Nothing necessarily against the figure, but I wish they also included his, his black hair piece. I think it would have been a much um, needed addition. Uh, but here is his face. He has his nice, appropriate, angry face there. And then a stern, more serious, and kind of muted face here on the back. Now, getting on to the actual build here, I actually think for what they were going for, it is pretty solid. It has all, all black pieces besides a couple pieces here on the bottom. They are all black, and they look really, really good. Um, actually, I do have a little uh, problem with this set here. So these stud shoes, we all know how stud shoes work, so there's a little play feature. Shoot out, typical, just kind of shoot out like that. But if you want to fix it, just be like me and put some red studs in there, translucent studs. It actually looks just so much better, it's crazy. Um, I don't think it shows it on the box at all or in the instructions, but I think back here, this little uh, open stud, is for your Kylo Ren if you don't want him to hold his saber. No, maybe this piece? Yeah, you know, this piece works here. That piece works to hold his saber if you don't want him to hold his saber. That is maybe odd as you might think it is. You could just have him hold the saber. I'd probably have him hold the saber. But just trying to show you guys some options here. Um, his wings do open and it's now in flight mode. And I think it looks pretty solid that way as well. I think this looks ridiculous here in the back, but I'll leave it there for now. Some good engine detail. Uh, that's uh, more or less it. Um, so I would recommend this set, especially if you're just trying to get the Kylo Ren figure. Because uh, it is a really good figure. I really like this figure. Heavily detailed and you get a cool blade and all. So, uh, yeah. If you, especially if these uh, translucent studs like me. You just have, if you're just like kind of collecting your extra pieces. They look so much better in the set. It's it's uh it's crazy um you, you get oh yeah i forgot to mention he has a printed cockpit piece here so that's nice um but it just look, it just looks um in a ways wildly better than the uh translucent green studs so i would recommend doing this um and i i would recommend this set especially if you're trying to get the kylo ren figure so yeah uh, I guess that's all my thoughts uh, as far as I can think. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the uh, next video. Peace out.